Uh, we appreciate your time this morning. Let's perhaps start with taking a look at the repercussions of insurance fraud on policyholders if it continues unchecked. Yes, good morning. Uh, I think one of the main repercussions for policyholders is an increase in the insurance premiums that they pay. Um, as you know, insurers uh, tend to use uh, historical claims to price uh, future insurance premiums. Um, so if that insurance, those, those historical claims have uh, fraudulent claims in them, it has the effect of inflating what uh, uh, future insurance premiums should be. So. Uh, it's a cost uh, on um, uh, insurance policyholders um, that they otherwise wouldn't have to uh, pay if fraudulent claims didn't exist. What's the insurance uh, responsibility, the insurer, uh, in combating fraud? Or is there really nothing that anybody can do? Yeah, you know, insurers uh, tend to have uh, quite sophisticated systems and uh, processes and controls to pick up firstly, uh, fraudulent claims and any fraud that might happen uh, throughout the, the, the value chain. Uh, but and So generally, uh, insurers are quite good at uh, picking them up. They do have a fiduciary duty to shareholders as well to protect uh, shareholder capital and maximize their returns. So they, they're obligated to, to, to make sure that there's uh, uh, as little leakage uh, in their financials as possible. Um, in addition to that, there's internal and external audits that are carried out throughout a, a, an insurance company um, every single year. Um, and, and those processes tend to pick up on insurance fraud, but it's, it's almost impossible to pick up on every single uh, case of fraud that might exist.